Now, I will be fair and say that Dozing Sands was not my favorite level of all time. It got off to a pretty bad foot when I met the construction foreman character, a an awful broke monsieur female character who abuses her staff. It's not even played for laughs, she just abuses her workers horribly into a state of actual fear. It's not a good thing when you see a character that would legitimately be better off if they were fired from their job. But that's not all there is to offer. It got a bit better when Mario and Luigi finally earned their digger's license and then got to rocket around dozing sands, breaking things, and going on a kooky, handcar-style journey for 15 minutes. Mostly their way to try to bullshit their way past Mrs. Work to the grave, and they're looking for a type of pillow who will give them dozites, a plot device that'll activate a path to the Dreamstone, another plot device of power that Bowser and Tasma are after. But before the heroes can do that, they have to deal with a new problem, which is actually an old problem. A beast they saw before called Torkscrew, who beat up the forewoman, and because of heroic valor, Mario and Luigi have to save her. Look, she's a bad person, so I'm not doing this for her, but if Mario and Luigi say yes, anyway, there's not much I can do to disagree with them. Torkscrew was kind of a dicky enemy for me. I might have died to him once or twice, or something. The point is that you see in this level, Torkscrew is really damn fast. His dodge windows are slim to none, and if you fuck them up, it can really hurt you. While the damage is heavy, honestly the time wasting is what gets me more about this fight. If you fail the screw stabbing, for instance, then you have to run around for 30 seconds chasing the brother who got stuck on the screw and that gets irritating since this is a common move. It happens all the time with only a second to dodge. Although Torque Screw also has a really silly attack, where he'll take one of the Mario brothers into the background to chase him around for a while, this is really easy to dodge and it's also freaking hilarious. It becomes a problem when the game requires you to focus on the background and also the left behind brother, since they'll be attacked by random minions while this nonsense is happening off screen. It's a lot of crap to put up with and shows that Dream Team is starting to climb its difficulty curve. I don't like this boss so much because it's like fighting a bear. Torkscrew is just a part of nature doing what it's supposed to when Britta pissed it off, and it's not rewarding to kill a shark for doing things that sharks do. We don't even kill Torkscrew in this instance, so it's not like Mario and Luigi are really doing one better for mankind and making the desert safer by killing Torkscrew. He'll just turn around in a day or so and start antagonizing the other workers or some passerby, and when a boss fight ends with no conclusion, that's usually a con no matter how it's sliced. It's either you die or you're gone forever, not, hey, can we do this again sometime next week? That's not how boss fights work, so Torkscrew, kind of a mixed bag, really.